or you import in files from folders in Power BI, you are probably doing it wrong. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to show you why, and I'm going to show you what is the best way to actually get files from a folder. Okay, so let's get started. So I have a folder that contains four files, and they are very simple files. They are actually all the same. And they have four uh, columns, and then there is some data in them. Okay, very simple file. So if we're going to put that into Power Query, let's go to Power Query. You go to get data from a folder, and then you will get this dialog. And there are different ways to do it. The official way is to just go in here and then tell which file you want to use a sample file, so which file is more representative of the data. Pick it, it's either the first file, it, by default it will always pick the first file, you can pick any other file, and then you go in here, you click OK, and uh, here we have our files combined, you just get rid of one of the titles and there you have all the data, beautiful, right? So what is the issue? <laughs> Let me show you. Okay, I have now a file 5, and this file has an additional column, okay? So this file was not there when this was created. So if I drop it in, file 5, and I refresh, you see that it has the information, but the column is still missing because it's not part of the sample file. And if you have only five files, if you know that the column is there, you can fix it manually. But if you don't know, this is not a good way to get all the data. You want that column to appear. And if you have thousands of files, you don't know because you can say, oh, you can pick a file, sample file five as your sample file. Yeah, but they can come more columns, less columns, different columns, you know. So this is not the best way to do it. There are other ways. I mean, there are a few things that I dislike about it, and it's all this stuff that gets spilled. You don't need to have that. I have a video that shows you how to get this in a cleaner way. Um, go and check that out. But the thing that I'm missing there is what I'm going to show you in this video too. So we're going to duplicate these. I'm going to get rid of all these. And my favorite way to actually extract files is you go to a uh, column, custom column, and then you use the Excel, Excel dot workbook. <sighs> uh, okay. And then you put content, this one, and then you just expand it. You get the tables there. You remove all the columns, get rid of everything. And here, here's the thing. If you, in this step, let me duplicate this. So if you in here now go and expand, and then expand again, you get the same problem now. I want you to see something. If you go in here and you see this, it says load more. So if you click in there, it will actually go and look and then see there are all the columns and it will pick them up. But obviously you want to have this automatically and this has to be done manually. So you need to go like, you know, if you see that your columns are amazing and you don't want to redo everything, you could actually go and load more and it will show. Now we will see the notes in here. Not a good way. So how do we automatically click on that load more so it always loads everything? That is where the tricks comes. And uh, let me show you because it's actually quite simple once we get we know how to do it as always you know so click on data expand again and here in this step instead of using this expanding we're going to expand manually so we're going to combine wait, combine all the tables using table combine so you go to the previous step you go to the column data and then combine them and that will expand everything, right? So, yeah, the, it, it is surprising. I'm not sure why they're not using table combine. It could be because it is not very efficient if you have a lot of data, that it requires a lot of muscle power to do it. No idea, but the thing is that 
if you are not sure how many columns you're going to get on your future files, doing it the normal way, they could normal expanding will not work. You're probably going to miss data columns. So table combined people. <laughs> Unless it's a machine process that dumps the files in there and you are certain that nothing will break, table combined. Okay, I hope this was useful for you. I will see you again on Thursday as always and take care. Bye.